Hey guys, it's Nicole the Notary, and I am here with you today, coming to you from Virginia. Um, it's been a while since I've created a video, so I figured I'd get on tonight and um, just talk. There's so much going on um, in our industry, uh, lots of new changes are coming out. Um, so there's some exciting stuff going on, so I just wanted to kind of talk to you about that and dump some stuff out um, that I've been holding on to uh, that I actually am very much excited about. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Today's video is just going to be a bunch of different topics. Um, I'm just really talking. I'm not really um, training on anything, and I don't have a specific message. I just wanted to kind of talk and um, do a video because I haven't done one in a while, and... Um, it's okay just to do it like this, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you don't like the topics that I'm talking about or, you know, you want to skip through, that's fine too. Um, I'll try to keep track of um, the timing and stick it in the comments so that you can jump, to, jump ahead to something that you care about. Um, that'll take some time, so if you're watching this kind of like the first day or two, um, it won't be there. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's cue the intro. Boom. All right, good notary family, all my goody goods out there, thank you for joining me today. My name is Nicole Maxwell, and again, um, I'm coming to you from Virginia. So like I said, today I just wanted to talk. Um, there's a lot of different things going on. I'm just going to go down kind of like this list that I have of running stuff. I wanted to just uh, go over it really quickly. Um, one is the first thing uh, that I'm going to get started off with. Actually, no. Um, as a reminder, it is the end of the month, uh, beginning of a new month. That's also the beginning of a new quarter. So what that means to me, what that should mean to you or could possibly mean to you is that uh, it's time for a fresh start and it's time to look back and assess um, your progress for your business, for yourself uh, over time. So um, I always, at the end of every month, I always go back and go through like all my signings. I kind of tabulate, you know, what services do I do well with? Um, what, uh, if I'm doing signing services, what signing services do I kind of need to tweak things uh, with? Or who do I want to increase my business with? Where do I want to um, expand um as far as like my region goes, the, my service and coverage region. Uh, and that's something I wanted to talk to you guys about too, but um, I'll, I'll do that next. So um, for month end, uh, you always kind of close your books. Um, I am not an accountant, so I'm not going to tell you what that means to me because I guarantee you that my version of doing it and an accountant's version of doing it are going to be completely separate things. Um, but for me, I go through, I close my books, I make sure that all of my invoices have a receipt and that all, uh, or I'm sorry, that all of my bookings or signings have a uh, invoice, um, even if it's something that I didn't send out, it's something that I collect here um, in my records. And uh, then that inside of the system that I'm using, which um, I'm probably going to do a video on that, but it's Wave Accounting. Um, that I have closed out all my invoices and that my month is clean and balances um, through reconciliation. Uh, in addition to that, what else do I do? I go through and I print up new APAs, so my all-purpose acknowledgements and jurats, like I print those up and ensure that I have them with the new month on there. Um, what else do I do? I clean out everything. So like I clean everything um, at the end of the day anyway, but I go through at the end of the week and make sure that my car is clean. I make sure that um, my my purse is cleaned out and that I restock everything and I, I order supplies. So um, 
I'm low on folders, I'm low on, I need to order some more paper, <laughs> I need new toner, so I kind of go through that. I do that multiple times a month too, but really at the end and beginning of the month, I go back and look how many times that I had to do that this month. Um, do I need, now need, you know, four toners a month instead of however many I'm using, because um, I always have backups too. Um, what else? Yeah, I kind of assess pricing, um, so not my own. I do that too, but um, I also kind of look at, like, um, the prices for my supplies and things like that, like where can I buy it, what's it trending at, um, different things like that. One of the things that I wanted to, to wrap around and go back to is uh, assessing your um, productivity and your region. So at the end of every month, at the end of every or every quarter, what I aim to do is go back and look and see where am I overextending myself? What can I do? I think I've posted this a few times in the forums. Like I'm actually reining my primary service region in a little bit because I'm all over the place and I'm finding that um, if I can concentrate it a little bit more then I can one get in more signings obviously um, but two it's going to be less frustrating um, overall. So I, you know, I will be able to do scan backs easier. I am not the person who's going to get scan backs and put a printer in my car. That's not happening. <laughs> the Mercedes is not getting a printer companion. That's just not going to happen. Um, <laughs> so um, I, you know, I, I do scan backs in different ways. So I, you know, that, that's how I'm going to do it. But uh, I, I think that like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not going to tell you everything about my region, but I do think that I'm going to, um, reduce the, uh, size of my region service area, the, the primary service area. Like I'll still go, I mean, I'm commissioned to do, um, notarizations all throughout, uh, Virginia. So if I needed to, I could be wherever I wanted to. I just have no desire to do that. So, um, you know, that's something to consider too, because that's, going to affect your cost. That's going to affect your productivity. I'm spending money on tolls because, um, yeah, <laughs> I can't stand traffic. And so I spend money on tolls. That's not efficient in any kind of way. But if I need to get from here to Alexandria in 30 minutes because I'm running behind, there's no other way, you know? So those are things to consider. And that will be something that you need to consider as a Virginia notary, especially if you're in Northern Virginia. That's one thing that has changed too. Um, as the country's starting to open up a little bit more, Virginia, we are starting to open up a little bit more. We have um, increased the um, the number of, um, of part, uh, people, patrons, who can be in a particular place at a time, right? So people are out. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but traffic has picked right back up. I've been so happy these last few months of just like all of 2020. I have been just elated that there has been no traffic. It has been beautiful. Like you could get from here to DC in like 10 minutes. It was not even a thing, but now that traffic is back and honey, it is, it is real. And as a notary signing agent being mobile and going all over the place, like you just can't, you can't do it. So, or well, I can't do it. Y'all, if y'all can do it, let me know how, because it has definitely changed. I would say over the course of the last month, but really the last couple of weeks, um, I have noticed it. Oh, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> All right. So in addition to that, um, what else did I want to do? Uh, the federal tax deadline has moved. Um, this is just kind of like an, a PSA for me to you. So it's no longer at April 15th. I believe we're now looking at May 17th. So um, thank you to whoever posted that um, in one of the forums. Uh there are a lot of new updates coming out from various people, so I'm going to go through some of those. So 
um, actually this morning, I think, this either this morning or yesterday, MROC sent out cultural training. I think it was yesterday. They sent out cultural training. And I was kind of surprised by this because this is something that you normally get like in a corporate environment when your company is trying to <laughs> ensure that they don't have lawsuits and that everybody's playing in the sandbox nicely. Um, but AMROC actually sent this out to all of its notary signing agent vendor partners. And um, I'm here for it. I appreciate it. Like it's, it's refreshing um, to see a company extending its arm to to the notaries as if they are a part of their umbrella because we are and so many times they they tend to act like you know we're kind of like not a part of them but we do represent them we're the ones who are going into our their customers homes and we're sometimes the only face that they see especially you know while we're in the state of covid so it's kind of nice that they did this. I think that overall, it's probably extremely necessary. And the tone of this one was much more, um, we're all diverse. So regardless of whether you identify as X, Y, or Z, or if you, you know, have eth certain ethnicities in your background, like everybody has something that is is diverse about them. And they even mentioned microaggressions and they give some examples. It was really good. Like I liked that training. <laughs> like I, I, it actually kind of like, I was planning just to hit play and let it go because I've been through those a million times, but to like actually hear it in the context of um, us being one of their vendor partners, the way that they did it was, was tasteful. I will say it did not make you feel like you were in like a diversity training where it's like it's worse than the actual um the uh, aggression <laughs> is in that moment you know but this training was actually tastefully done and I really really appreciated that while we were on so if you are an AMROC um signing agent you've likely had that training assigned to you in your skill OQ. So go check that out, check your email and make sure that you're looking out for that. And that is, um, this is April 6th, 2021. So, um, if you're watching this, you know, any other time, then probably didn't do it. <laughs> or if you're recently onboarding, you probably did it. Uh, in addition to that, sticking with AMROC, AMROC is also, um, they launched their RON in Virginia. Now, I am not talking about Nexus Clear Sign, like that's hybrid, and that's totally different. Um, the RON platform for AMROC has launched. It is on Nexus, but it is, um, it's RON. <laughs> so it, it literally is a remote online notarization. And so I know a couple of weeks ago, AMROC reached out to those of us who, um, those of us in the area, and they asked us to provide them with our credentials, go ahead and um, take the training. So I know a lot of us did that. You know, there was some buzz on the forums about it, but it finally launched a couple days ago and I have yet to see one. Um, they said that the RON notifications will come through the platform, um, through the app just like the other ones. So if you are a Ron and you are interested in working with AMROC, um, the opportunity is there here in Virginia. I don't know where else they launched. Um, I know that it's been, it's more than one location because I had technical issues and we were kind of going back and forth between those. And so the, they told me some things about um, kind of how they're, they're uh, extending it. But that's good to know, right? There's another option for Ron. Um, I'm interested to see uh, once we actually start getting them, what the pricing is going to be. That's going to be a huge determining factor for me, um, as well as kind of how how it works. So we went through training, but it wasn't hands-on training. Um, so so that's something. All right, um, sticking with new things, uh, Zoom, uh, Title 365, 
also sent out a, um, a notification that they have some updates coming to their app and that they have a new version of the app rolling out here soon. They didn't say when it was coming, but they did say soon. So we got that message and email, I think about a week ago or so, somewhere around there. Um, so it's on the way. Um, in addition to that, to, oh, tomorrow, Notarize is having their um, event. I forget what it's called. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Uh, let me get to my email. Um, Notarize is having their um, their event for Ron notifications and I forget what it was called. Notarize. I think it's like rewire or something like that. It makes me want to think that it's called rewire, rewired for real, <laughs> rewired for real estate is what it's called. So um, it is tomorrow. It's a virtual conference and there's like, you can even go on here and um, check out your schedule. You can pick the classes or the courses that you want to uh, attend or the sessions that you want to attend. Um, you can view the speakers and then post on the live feed, book meetings, and even network. So for those of you who do not have signings tomorrow and who are Rons and who are using the Notarized platform, um, you can go there and enjoy yourself a, uh, a conference tomorrow. So that should be pretty exciting. I wish um, that I had realized that this was happening. Uh, actually, I don't because I'd rather be signing, but um, um, hopefully there's a replay. Uh, that is my goal is to watch a replay if it's available. Um, otherwise, I'll catch it as I can, but I have a full day of signings, thankfully, so I'm not even um, not sweating it that much. Okay, um, so I'll put the info for Rewire in the... Um, in the links, although by the time you watch this, it will probably be over with because it is going to be on April 7th of uh, 2021. So it's a conference. I forget what time it starts. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can see what time it starts. No. Yeah, I gotta put my password in. I'm not doing all that. Uh, I don't remember what time it starts, but it does. It's tomorrow, the 7th. Uh, in addition to that, what else do we have going on? Oh, one notary, sticking with Ron, one notary actually rolled out a new fees um, effective April 1st. And if I can pull that up, I'll do that as well. So if you are a one notary, um, Ron Notary, Remote Online Notary with one notary, <laughs> the US, um, you will experience and enjoy new, a new fee structure. So let me see. Yes, so uh, they call it the General Notary Work Pricing Refresh. Um, although it's general notary work for Ron notarizations, okay? So what they say is starting April 1st, you can earn more for every simple notary session with one or two seals. As a notary, you know how important it is to provide transparent and easy understanding to your, uh, your clients. That's why we replaced the level-based calculation with a simpler model based on the number of seals and signers per session. The basic platform fee for every notary session with one seal drops from $15, 15 to $16 to $13. Please see the details below. So this is the platform fee for uh, general notary work. So it's $13 for basic. It is $13 per session with one participant and one seal. $5 for every additional seal and $5 for every extra participant. With professional, it's $10 per session with one participant and one notary seal. 
it's four dollars for every extra seal and one dollar for every extra participant so based on this schedule it appears that you're getting an extra dollar or something like that um so yeah this is platform fee not payment so it is newly rolled out um effective april 1st so uh, you guys can read all about that on the one notary platform um what else is new do, 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 do. okay so last or one of the last things is um effective i forget what day it was i want to say april 1st um the new 1003 has rolled out. Um, the 1003 changed. You've seen it in evolution. Um, I started seeing these back in like November, December. So they've picked up heavily um, towards um, March, um, but now they are required. So you may still see, according to the NNA, you may still see some um, of the old versions of the 1003. Um, until those new loans have caught up to the new time frame. So any new applications that are submitted uh, April 1st going forward all have to have that new version of the 1003. So that is another val a way that you can be of value to your, um, your title team and signing services is to validate that 1003 and confirm that it's the new version. Um, I actually had one not too long ago. They were using the 2014 version. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> uh, it's always good to just ask a question. Um, you know, if that's a standard that we see in our packages, ask that question. And so that they know that you know what you're looking for and, um, you can, um, help them out. You know, if, if they've used a form that they shouldn't have used, um, it's not our job, no, to, to check these forms and validate them, no. Um, but if you do, then you are of more value than someone who does not, correct? Um, so it's worth a phone call. If you work with signing services and title companies, you can't get on the phone, obviously. You're not going to be somebody who can actually do that. But um, with the ones who do, they will appreciate it, okay? Just the, the extra effort that you took to reach out. Speaking of value add, um, <laughs> one thing that I always on this channel will impress upon you is to know your value, which is your worth. Um, I do not condone accepting low fees. I have felt and heard that fees are going lower and lower. And my thoughts on this are honestly that I feel like certain services are going lower and lower. Um, that is due to the influx in signing services that are in signing agents. That is in due to um, kind of the, um, the um, industry and things are changing. That is also due to the, the, ton, the, the big amount, large amount of refinances that have already been done. People got their their um, their mortgages and loans down to a very low interest rate, so they don't have they are not incented to refinance again. They've already done it, so um, you know maybe HELOCs will pick up, home equity lines of credit, especially given you know kind of the state we're in. Um, HELOCs could pick up, uh, purchases and sales are going to pick up eventually. I don't know when it's going to happen, but that's not really what I'm talking about either. I'm just saying that, you know, if you are seeing lower signing fees, approach that with caution. Um, don't, you know, don't go nuts saying, you know, the world is, is the, the, the sky is falling because it's not. Um, I feel like some companies are testing the lower fees just to see who bites and what quality of notary they get for that. Um, I'm not changing my prices. I'm not. <laughs> like, 
I, I believe that there's a threshold that I have and I'm not going underneath that. Um, because I look at this work, this work effort that's being done. I look at the value of what's being provided and I look at the class of customer and um, notary that I carry myself to be and no, <laughs> like I won't be doing $65 signings. You know, that's not going to happen. Um, and, and I don't mind saying that. So, you know, it's very, if you are a $30 notary, I hate to say that, but if that's the quality of work that you do, and if that's how you present yourself, then that is what you're going to attract. I don't attract that. And I don't attract that customer base. I don't attract that clientele. So all I'm saying is that there's room for all of us. There is room for everybody who wants to be successful to be successful if you put in the work. And I'm putting in the work. I'm going to show you how to put in the work. Don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> so we can get that done a little bit quicker. Um, in addition to that, uh, you know, diversify. So you got into this business because you were looking for something. You were looking for an answer to a problem. You were looking for a come up, right? Or, you know, maybe you were looking for um, supplements, you know, a supplement to your income. Um, I got into this business because I wanted to. Um, I wanted to be a notary a very long time ago. Um, and I got bad information, which is why I made this channel, because I don't want people to have bad information anymore. Um, I want them to have a source to go to that actually has the right info um, to be able to pass out. But I also know that there are a lot of people who are just doing this because 2020 sucked, you know, and someone called us pandemic notaries. And I just want to take a moment and address the pandemic notaries in the room. All y'all, congratulations, you guys. If you're still here, you're almost a year in. Um, depending on when you started, your year is coming up. You made it. You are still here. You are still standing. You are still strong and you are still growing. Good job. To all the... Uber notaries, and that's what I'll call you guys, um, that don't treat this business with the integrity and respect that it deserves. Um, the <laughs> Those of you who don't bother to read state, state laws, you don't care about the final product, you don't care about your presentation or the presentment of your documents, Uber's still there. You know, um, we're opening back up again. It's not going to leave you. Your commission lasts you for four years. If you are not mature enough right now to handle this business, in four years you may be, in three years you may be, but right now you're affecting other people. And it's not, it's just, it blows my mind that you would do that this is not that business. <laughs> like I've said that a couple of times, like this just isn't the business that you do that with. Like integrity, ethics, quality, um, concern, discernment, all of those phrases, all of those words mean something in this industry, in this business, in this particular role. It's very important that you have the ability to do everything I just named. And if you don't care enough to send your very best back out, just don't. Like nobody's going to come hunt you down because you weren't successful at this. Nobody is going to shame you or, or call. Well, somebody might. It won't be me. 
Um, nobody that matters will do it. Like only people that do stuff like that do it for shock value. And, and, you know, do the right thing. Um, if you didn't get in here and make $10,000 your first month and you are feeling depleted, either do one of two things. One, move on to something else that's going to get you that, become a real estate agent or, um, you know, something else uh, that is going to, to do that with a different set of skills that you have. Or buckle down, go through your training again, learn new things, read those documents, learn the documents, practice your presentment, and the laws. I don't know if I said laws. If I didn't say laws, laws. Learn your state laws. Which brings me to my next topic. I think this is my last one. No, I have two more. <laughs> um, okay, so which brings me to my next topic, which is staying off of Facebook. So Facebook, and I say this all the time to like my friends and stuff, Facebook is the devil. <laughs> like literally, like it is, it's, it will suck you in. And I'm telling you, like, even today I did it. Like I get on Facebook and you get one comment and it's like, Ooh, there's a comment. And then you know, you read something else and then two seconds later, another person replies to your comment and then you're like, oh, what'd they say? And then somebody's arguing with you or telling you something that's completely wrong or fictitious and you're trying to explain yourself. Just don't. Forums and Facebook do not make you money. Every time you are on there, you are losing money. You are losing the potential to grow to make additional money. Now, I will say, every now and then, you get a gym. <laughs> like, I found a gym the other night. I was like, oh, my gosh, yes, that was awesome. Um, you know, but just do it in moderation. Do not spend your whole day on Facebook. Don't spend, you know, don't get angry about Facebook. If you're new and you're asking a question outside of your training, um, your training group, if it's just a random group that you're in and you're asking a question, do not be mad when people do not give you support and love and, and cuddle you because one, they don't know how long you've been a notary and two, or a signing agent and two, they don't care about you. So if you are in your loan signing system group, that group of people wants to see you grow. If you're in your sign and thrive group, that group of people wants to see you grow. But if you were in just a random notary group with random other notaries and there's no type of, I mean, there's something obviously that's brought you guys together, but there's no type of camaraderie there and, and feeling of, you know, uplifting you, don't get mad when people don't reply the way that you would like them to. Um, and also, don't get mad when people do tacky things like make videos of you. So, yeah. Um, in addition to that, uh, speaking of staying off of Facebook, you may have noticed that your favorite... Um, your favorite things to, to listen to and ways to network here on YouTube aren't here. <laughs> like people are gone. Where did everything go? Right. So I know for a very long time, like we had, we had, um, you know, it seemed like every hour on the hour, there was some kind of live going on. There was some kind of, uh, something happening. So if you are an Android user, you're affected by this, or maybe if you're just out of the loop, you're also affected by this, um, and you're still here on YouTube. And that's because the rest of the world, all the Apple users, picked up and went over to Clubhouse. Um, I won't be doing that. I'm not a fan of anything Appleized, and I will be right here on YouTube. Um, 
until there is an Android app that opens up Clubhouse, and I might not even do it then just because I feel a certain way now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so our, our stream of knowledge has been divided a little bit, but um, if you guys want you know, to start up a live or even do a Zooms um, and you, you're interested in something like that, let me know in the comments and I can kick that off. Um, we can just talk and we can just have, you know, kind of like general notary talk and it can be very informal. Um, I almost prefer Zoom that way, you know, we have that face-to-face -face interaction and it's a two-way um, talk. But I'm also open to doing like a live stream here where I'm just uh, doing a question and answer. Okay, so in addition to that, do, 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 do. oh, I think I wanted to harp on this a little bit more. So this is more about um, knowing your area, your fees, and your your um, your counties. So. This is for new notaries, this is for advanced notaries, this is for anybody who um, might be looking to shake things up a little bit. So I told you previously that I am looking at um, reducing my, um, my service area. And one of the reasons I'm doing that, like I said, like when you take into account gas, tolls, um, time, and uh, traffic, uh, it just, there's certain things that are nonsensical. Like for me, where I am to get down to, uh, Woodbridge or, uh, Prince, anywhere in Prince William County during rush hour is nonsensical. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense at all. So I'm going to stop doing stuff like that. Cause I was doing it. I was going to Gainesville like every, you know, every, almost every day, if you know, for a while, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so one thing that you'll want to, to have at the ready, and this will definitely help you when you are getting orders on um, from signing services, not, not with the rec, the rec's a little bit different, but like with signing services, when you are getting um, orders, one thing that will help you is to know your area. Another reason I became a notary and enjoy the mobile notary piece of this is because I'm not from Virginia, so I didn't know it. Like, it was like, you know, I knew, like, the streets I went up and down all the time, but, like, I, it's so big and vast here, and for some reason, it's, it's really hard for me to wrap my mind around geographically how everything is laid out. So, becoming a mobile notary actually helped me learn my environment where I am a lot more. So, like, now I kind of know stuff. I'm still not there. I still definitely rely on my GPS, but... Um, that's one thing that you'll want to do. So I advise you as a, um, as a notary, as a mobile notary, whether you're doing general notary work or you're going to do, um, uh, loan signings is to take a look at the map and really nail down your service area. So decide what your counties are going to be. So the counties is pretty easy. Like you have to, at least you have one, like, you know, for sure where you got commissioned, right? Like that's going to be your main county typically. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to want to see like how far outside of that do you want to go? Do you want to go to the next county, the next three counties? Do you want to do 50 miles um, or do you just want to do 30? Do you want to do 10, maybe 25? Like if you're part time and you're only going to do this like um, from six to nine every night, then maybe you only have like a 10 mile radius you do it in because you don't want to be away from your family or you don't want to be that far away from your home base when you're first starting out. So those are really good things to like keep in your mind, drill that in your head. Once you visualize that map and you understand the zip or you understand the counties you're working with, then you add in the zip codes. Okay. So use Google to your advantage, but go through your zip codes and really define where are the markets I want to be in? Where are the locations I don't want to service? You have that right. Like, I, I hate when people act like you have to do anything that comes your way because you're a notary. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Um, you can do it within reason. So I, you know, there's certain areas I'm not going to. Like, no, 
I'm I'm good. Like I, there's nothing there for me, so I'm not going to put that in my service area. So make sure that you define those things for yourself. Have them mapped out. That way when an order comes through, oh, so so sorry, I said counties, zip codes and then add that on top of there, add the cities and towns, okay? So if you have town names or if you have names of your little areas, right? you'll want to service those. So like we have McLean and Tyson's, like you'll want to service those little areas. If you have something like Fairfax City versus Fairfax County, um, and you know, you've got little areas down there that you want to service, like just kind of define those. Know your service model. And this is all a part of like creating that service model for yourself, right? Which is also a part of your business plan, which is also not something that is static. Like that is always fluid. It's always growing. Like you are always tweaking that and pivoting when you have to. Um, in addition to that, what am I trying to say? So you've got your, your state, your counties, your zip codes, and then your cities. So when a signing order comes in, when a request for signing comes in, you know right away, oh, that doesn't sound familiar to me. I actually have to look that up. Where is that, Bellhaven? I have no idea where that is. Let me go look that up on the map. Oh, that's in Clark County? I don't service Clark County. Or I service Clark County, but it's a premium. And so you know that like you can automatically hit decline and then counter, you know, counter whatever that zone is going to be for you to actually go out there. And that's my final tip. So if you are accepting an order on SnapDocs, you've accepted the order on SnapDocs or any other signing service, right? Unless there is something very wrong, you should be servicing that customer. If you make an error, you make an error and don't do it again, but go ahead and fix this one. Um, now, sometimes somebody mentioned that like they had, they had uh, accepted an order for three hours out and felt obliged to take it. In that instance, it is three hours away from you, which means that it's three hours to get there, three hours back, and another hour for your signing at a minimum, right? So 45 minutes to an hour if you're good. So if you're not, then it's another 30 minutes. So you're looking at an eight-hour day, and they were paying like 60 bucks. That is nonsensical, okay? Do not do nonsensical things. Go ahead and call them up and say, hey, I hit the accept button too fast. It is on you to fix that, and it's on you to ensure there's no angst there. Like, sometimes it might be, like, if it was an urgent order and, like, you were the last stop notary to do it, then I would bargain that out because... I would bargain that out <laughs> because there's no way I'm going for, you know, six hours, seven hours away from all business that I could have had and going to be gone from my home base out that far. Don't know anything about the area. Don't know anybody out that way to help and support if something goes wrong. You're on your own. So I personally, me being female, me being more cautious, I'm not doing that. Like, I just, you know, I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> I'm going to have to just give that right on back to you. And if you're mad at me for a while, I'll understand. And, you know, if I need to move on, I'll understand that too. But, you know, some people will do it, you know. It's not worth that to me to do that. Um, and that's unfortunate that it happened. It sucks. But, you know, accidents happen. Okay. All right. So guys, I've talked. I feel better now. <laughs> I feel like I got it all out. <laughs> um, oh, 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 one last thing. One last thing. One more thing. Okay. So signing services. I highly recommend that you sign up with as many services as you feel like signing up with. 
There are lists of 100, there are lists of 300, there are lists of 50, there are lists of 30, there are lists of 800. Whatever floats your boat and gets you business, okay? So for me personally, um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I did. I signed up for about 10, maybe 15. And I got myself to the point of business where I could not have my full-time job anymore. So it depends on what, it depends on what you want, how you bring that in and, and what they provide to you, right? So if I started seeing the return um, with those 10 that I applied to, okay, um, I am now going back because I want consistency, right? So I want to be flooded all the time. And like right now, like I turn down signings, but I want to be flooded all the time with work. So I am going back and I'm going to now go back to the signing services. Now the disadvantage of doing it my way, and you know, I'm honest about this. The disadvantage of that is that from now, uh, from the time that I signed up initially, to now, there's probably 800 million more notary signing agents out in the world who are also doing the same thing. So that's a disadvantage for me. The advantage is I've definitely pulled through almost 250 signings, so <laughs> I have that over then. Um, but, you know, it just depends on, it depends on a lot. So I would say that if you find a, a signing service that you get comfortable with and you like the way their website is, you like the way the logins are, you like the way they call you. Like I love when Amrock calls me. Um, I love, you know, certain signing services. I love their, their actual portals. Other signing services, I literally hate it. Like looks bad on web. It's hard to access. There's 14 different codes you have to enter in. It only works on my phone. If I need it on my um, um on my computer, like it doesn't work there. So I gotta like do extra stuff. Like there, you know, I'm picky when it comes to stuff like that. But you don't have to be that way. Um, maybe you're just a little bit more fluid and you you love stuff. You know at whatever. I am also extremely picky about instructions. I am an independent person. I'm an independent contractor. I, I'm not, um, how should I say this nicely? I'm not an idiot. So, uh, I hate 45 pages of instructions. Like that just is an immediate turn off to me. And especially when they're in all red, like I just, it, it, it chokes me up some kind of way. Um, but that kind of stuff, it matters to me because it says a lot about who you see me as, as your contractor. And it also says a lot about who else you're working with as contractors. So if you're working with a pool of contractors or notary signing agents, you're a contractor. Um, a notary signing agent, if you're working with pools of notary signing agents and you need to provide this level of detail to all of them, I'm in the wrong crew. So I need to go somewhere else. That's the way I see it. And I do this not only in my notary business, but I also do that like in real life. Like, so if, if I'm, if I'm not receiving the level of of input that I need or feedback or, or, um, growth that I need. I'm not, I'm not in the right place. I need to move, you know, um, complacency doesn't sit well with me. What I'm saying is what I started to say at the beginning, which is know your worth, stay away from low fees, find the signing services that work for you and then go direct know your value, retain your value, know your laws.
Okay. All right, guys. So thank you for hanging out with me. If you got through this whole thing, thanks for listening to me blabber on. I hope I was able to share something with you that you did not know, or maybe something that you had forgotten because, you know, we get these things and lots of stuff is going on. You forget. Um, anyway. Oh, before I forget, there's a bonus item. Ah, I am going to put a link to, um, a video uh, by Dominica Robinson of these these signs. Uh, I believe she's out in California, but she had a video this morning um, on notary PPP. So for those of you who run your business like a business, you are eligible for PPP. You're a small business, and they've created this website that makes it so simple and plain language for us. Um, it is specific to notaries and it really dumbs down a lot of the, um, small business association, uh, um, information. So I'm going to put that in the, in the description. Um, if I don't get to it tonight, I will do it tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Enjoy your notary businesses. I wish you nothing but growth and happiness and, um, on your, on your journey to become a good notary guys. Thank you and have a great evening. Bye-bye.